One X is the flagship of the new One series from HTC. It's powered by a Tegra 3 chipset packing four Cortex A9 cores and an NVIDIA GPU, which offers plenty of processing power to run Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich and the custom Sense 4.0 UI. It features a lock screen, which allows you to drag your contacts and see their details. It runs buttery smooth. The One X is one of the fastest smartphones currently on the market. HTC have taken the time to streamline their Sense interface. The notification area for One is just that, a notification area. It has no extraneous tabs, toggles, recent apps, or any other clutter. The dock at the bottom of the screen has a new look as well. It's no longer fixed and you can modify four of the five shortcuts. The middle one always opens the app drawer. HTC also changed the way you add widgets to the home screen. It's closer to how it worked in Honeycomb. We're not big fans of this as multiple versions of the same widget are dumped into a single list leading to a lot of duplicates. You can use the drop down menu or the search to make finding what you're looking for easier. HTC One X comes preloaded with some useful apps like Dropbox, which will give you 25GB of cloud storage for two years the moment you sign up. There's also Polaris Office to edit documents and locations, a satnav app that comes with a 30-day free trial. Sense traditionally has deep social networking integration and version 4.0 is no exception. The phone book groups, calls, texts, and emails along with status updates and online albums into a neat, tidy interface. Another trademark for HTC is the Beats audio technology. The One X doesn't come with a Beats headset, but you can still get the software sound enhancer. It offers multiple presets and can be used with a variety of Beats headsets or you can choose the other option if you have a non-Beats headset. Beats Audio Enhancement is available also for the movie player, but not on the FM radio. 